<laughs> what does the blue button do? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I love this new car. Can we keep it? No, we can't keep it, Pepper. We've only borrowed it for today. Oh? Oh, no. I think it's going to rain. Yes, I'll just put the roof up. Now, which is the button to close the roof? <laughs> Oops, silly me. Aha! This must be the button. Ah! The new car has squirted Daddy Pig with water. <laughs> silly Daddy, that's not the roof. This button. Oops, not that one. This button. Ah! Ah! Daddy Pig has forgotten which button closes the roof. I don't think this car likes me. Let's try the red button. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> but now it's stopped raining. Can we open the roof again? Uh, yes. Which button was it? The, the red, red one! one. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Grandad Dog has fixed the car. Your car is fixed. Hooray! Thank you, Grandad Dog. And keep the change. Thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Goodbye. 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 Bye-bye. Ah, it's good to get our old car back again. I like the new car, but I like our old car better. And I think our old car likes us too. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Poor George. Let me help you. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, George has dropped his sponge in a muddy puddle. George, you're making the car all muddy again. <laughs> I will wash the mud off. Pepper, don't use the... Muddy water. Oh dear, Pepper has thrown the muddy water all over the car. Oh. Never mind, we can use the garden hose to clean it off. Yes, yes. Can I hold the hose? <laughs> Pepper holds the hose, and Daddy Pig turns on the water. Where's the water? <laughs> no need to panic. Oh dear, everyone is wet. <laughs> At least the car has been washed. We've all been washed. <laughs> <laughs> you go and dry yourselves while I polish the car. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Daddy Pig is polishing the car so well he can see his face in it. <laughs> what a funny face. <laughs> oh, more funny faces. <laughs> it's Pepper and George. <laughs> Mummy Pig has the bottles. Pepper has the tin cans. And George has the newspapers. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Pig. Then let's go! <laughs> recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. Tin cans, bottles, newspapers. <laughs> recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. <laughs> <laughs> this is Miss Rabbit's recycle centre. We're here! Hooray! Hello there! Have you come to do some recycling? Yes, we have. Jolly good. Carry on. What's Miss Rabbit doing? She's recycling all the rusty old cars. Wow. Who can tell me which bin the bottles go in? The green one. 
That's right. And the cans go in the blue one. Well done, Pepper. George wants to recycle the newspapers. OK, George, you can do the newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> there. That's enough recycling for one day. Yes. Let's go home. <laughs> oh, where's our car gone? Peppa's car has disappeared. Stand back! Miss Rabbit is recycling Peppa's car. <gasps> Stop! That's our car! What? Is it really? Yes! yes. Our car isn't old and rusty. <laughs> Silly me. I just love recycling. Yes, so do we. But we also love our little car. Yes, and our little car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's one o'clock. They're late, as usual. How are your potatoes doing? Um, they still need a bit more cooking. Granny Pig speaking. Hello, Granny Pig. We're stuck in a traffic jam. Don't worry. We're running late too. Grandpa's gone over the top with potatoes. See you in a bit. The poor dears are stuck in a traffic jam. Sounds like I've got time to get a few more potatoes. Grandpa Pig. We're moving so slowly. We'll never get to Granny and Grandpa's. Peppa's right. We have to try a different way. But there aren't any other main roads. I know a shortcut. Bye-bye, everyone. We're taking a shortcut. Bye-bye, Peppa. Good luck. Honey Pig is taking a shortcut to get ahead of the traffic. The shortcut is very bumpy. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Are you sure about this? Trust me. Hello, ducks. We're taking a shortcut. <laughs> Look, there's the main road again. Well done, Mummy Pig. But we're still behind Danny's lorry. Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig's shortcut has not worked very well. Good. Lunch is ready. And, most important of all, the potatoes are done. Lunch is ready, but Peppa and her family are still not here. Grandpa Pig speaking. We're almost at your house. <laughs> but the traffic is still moving at the speed of a snail. A very, very slow snail. They're almost here, but they're still in the traffic jam. Poor dears. <laughs> The food is going to get cold. Here are Peppa and her family in their car. Hello, Danny. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. What can we do for you today? We've got petrol, air for tyres, and a new automatic car wash. Uh, two ice lollies, please. Oh, certainly. Grandad Dog's garage sells lots of things, even ice lollies. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. 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 I love our car. <laughs> and our car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> oh dear, the car has stopped. It's no good. It won't start. I know. I'll ring Grandad Dog. Grandad Dog speaking. Help. Our car has broken down. Danny, we've got some rescuing to do. Yippee! To the rescue! To the rescue! Look, there's Danny and Grandad Dog. Hooray! Grandad Dog knows everything about cars. Hmm. Is it serious? No, you've just run out of petrol. What can we do? There's plenty of petrol at my garage. I'll tow you there. Grandad Dog is towing Pepper's car back to his garage. Grandad Dog is filling Pepper's car with petrol. Thank you, Grandad Dog. <laughs> Here are Susie Sheep and her mummy in their car. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. Hello, Susie. We ran out of petrol. Grandad Dog rescued us. Wow, that's exciting. See you later. See you later. <laughs> We're going to the playground. We're going to the playground.
to the playground. <laughs> vroom, vroom. Peppa and George <laughs> love going to the playground. <laughs> oh, why have we stopped? It's a traffic jam. But we need to get to the playground. <laughs> Don't worry, George. The traffic is moving again. Stop! Mr Bull has stopped the traffic. What's the problem, Mr Bull? Moo! We're digging up the road. There's water coming out of the ground. Yes, that's what we're here to fix. Ooh. Is it going to take long? It will take as long as it takes. <gasps> George likes diggers. This way, Mr. Rhino! OK, boss! Mr. Bull is the boss. Mr. Bull, where's all that water coming from? It's coming from a broken water pipe underground. How are you going to fix it? We dig up the road! Wow! We turn the water off. George loves cranes. Crane! Crane! We take the old pipe out <laughs> and put the new one in. <laughs> Thank you for showing us your work, Mr. Bull. Oh, no problem. Bye! See you later! <laughs> Oh, dear. George doesn't want to leave Mr Bull. We're going to the playground, George. <laughs> you can play diggers and cranes in the sand pit. And we'll see Mr Bull again on our way home. <laughs> Are we nearly there yet? Not yet, Peppa. <sighs> Let's play a game. We each have to spot a car of our favourite colour. Yes! My favourite colour? Is green. Mine is orange. Mine is red. George, what's your favourite colour? Blue. George's favourite colour is blue. Let's see which colour car comes along first. Okay. Here is Candy Cat in her green car. <laughs> green! That's my favourite colour. I win. Hello, Candy. Hello. Hello, Peppa. Here is Danny Dog in Grandad Dog's breakdown truck. Orange, so I win. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Here's another car. It's Susie. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Boo! Yes, George, it's a blue car, so you win. <laughs> <laughs> this is a silly game. There isn't a red car anywhere. There is one red car, Peppa. Where? <laughs> what colour is our car? Uh, it's red. I win, I win. <laughs> <laughs> the family have arrived at the mountains. We'll have a fantastic view when we get to the top. We're here. Hooray! Look at the lovely sunny view. <laughs> oh, dear. It has started to rain. Where's the lovely view? Uh, there's a lovely view. It is Miss Rabbit's ice cream store. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Daddy Pig. Four ice creams, please. What flavours would you like? Mint, orange, strawberry and blueberry, please. OK. <laughs> Look what I've got. Ice cream! Oh, <laughs> they're our favourite colours. That's right. Green for me. Orange for me. Strawberry red for me. And George's is... Boo! <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Yummy! Peppa, George, today we're going to Windy Castle. What's Windy Castle, Daddy? It's a castle on a very high hill. <laughs> George likes castles. Windy Castle sounds like a boring thing for boys. No, Peppa, you'll love it. There's a great view from the top of Windy Castle. You can even see Granny and Grandpa's house. Wow! Let's go. <laughs> I'll map read and Mummy Pig will drive. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? When you map read, we always get lost and you get grumpy. We will not get lost and I will not get grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Windy Castle, here we come. Are we nearly there yet? Not quite. 
Would you like to play a game? Yes, please. Let's play I Spy. OK. I'll go first. Daddy Pig has to secretly look at something, and the others have to guess what it is. I spy with my little eye something coloured red. Red? My dress! That's red. No, it's not your dress. Hmm. The car! That's right. Our red car. I <laughs> <laughs> go. I spy with my little eye something blue. Hmm. George's blue shirt. Nope. Is it something in the car? No. Give up. Yes. The sky. The blue sky. I win. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig, do you know where we are? I know exactly where we are. Although, this road doesn't look the same as it does on the map. Oh, Daddy Pig. We're lost. We are not lost. So how do we get to Windy Castle from here? Just give me a moment. <laughs> are we all ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. <laughs> George has left Mr Dinosaur behind. Oh, George, you should take more care of Mr Dinosaur. Are we all absolutely sure we haven't forgotten anything else? Yes, Daddy Pig! Teddy! I've left Teddy! Where did you leave, Teddy? I think on the kitchen table. Pepper, you really must take more care of Teddy. Teddy! <laughs> Here we go again. All ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Here we go! This is the picnic area. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> ah, I love this picnic spot. It's so quiet and peaceful. <laughs> it is Zoe Zebra with her daddy, Mr Zebra the Postman. Hello, Mr Zebra. <laughs> Have you got our post? Oh, oh, no deliveries today. It's my day off. Yay! We're having a picnic lunch. So are we. I know. Why don't we make one big picnic? Yes. <laughs> what a splendid picnic. Please may George and I leave the table and play with Zoe. Yes, Peppa. <laughs> Zoe, I've got my teddy. I've got my monkey. Oh, oh, oh. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a toy picnic set. Let's play picnics. <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. They always turn up when we have a picnic. We've got pretend orange juice. And we've got pretend cake. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Peppa is going to the park. <laughs> it's freezing cold. It is cold. <laughs> Quick, let's get our warm clothes on. On cold days, Peppa and her family wear their hats and scarves and coats. I'll put the roof up. Oh, and let's get the heating on. Everyone nice and warm? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. This is the park. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> Mummy, why are all the leaves red and yellow? It's autumn time, Pepper. In the autumn, it gets a bit colder and the leaves change colour. Oh, it's quite windy. Let's play a game to keep warm. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Oh, it's not meant to go that way. The wind is blowing the ball along. <laughs> The ball is in the pond. Hmm. I'll just use this stick to reach it. Just a bit further, Daddy. Be careful, Daddy Pig. Don't worry. I've almost got it. Whoa. <laughs> Daddy, is the water cold? A little bit. The wind has blown the ball out of the pond. That's lucky. Yes. What a stroke of luck. It's getting even windier. Hold on to your hats. No, the wind has blown George's hat off. <laughs> Don't worry, George. Daddy Pig will catch your hat. Quick, Daddy! 
<laughs> oh, but we want to play some more, Mummy. Maybe tomorrow. Can Pepper and George come to our house tomorrow? Yes. Hooray! <laughs> Why is Richard crying? He's a bit scared of going downstairs. Why? We don't have stairs in our home. What? No stairs? That's right. You'll see tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> it is morning. Pepper and George are going to Rebecca Rabbit's house today. <laughs> Mummy Pig can drive and I'll do the map reading. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? We always get lost when you do the map reading. <laughs> we won't get lost. OK. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Mummy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. Peppa and George are very excited. <laughs> they have never been to Rebecca Rabbit's house before. Daddy, are we nearly there? The map says Rebecca's house is on the next hill. I don't understand. This should be where Rebecca Rabbit lives. We must be lost. There's just this garden of carrots. Where can Rebecca Rabbit's house be? Squeak! Hello, everyone. Squeak! Squeak! <laughs> Rebecca! Do you want to play in my bedroom? Your bedroom? But where is your house? Peppa cannot see Rebecca's house anywhere. This hill is our house. It's called a burrow. Ooh! I'll show you. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> we don't have stairs. We have tunnels. Wow. Rebecca's house is a bit different to Peppa's. This is our bedroom. Wow. You have a bed and a window and a toy box, just like us. Of course. <laughs> we'll see birds and trees and flowers and bees. <laughs> Dinosaur. No, George. I don't think we'll see any dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> this is the start of the nature trail. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy Pig, don't forget the picnic. Oh, oh, as if I would. Daddy, how do we know which way to go? Easy. The map says there should be a sign showing the start of the nature trail here. Well done, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has forgotten the picnic. Pepper, what interesting things can you see? Just trees and trees and more boring trees. <laughs> Pepper, you're not looking hard enough. All right. I'll look really hard and I still won't see anything. Oh, what's that? Pepper has found some footprints. Whose footprints are these? Dinosaur! Oh, George, they're not dinosaur footprints. Let's follow the footprints and see who made them. Yes! <laughs> Shh! We have to be very quiet so we don't scare anything away. Yes, Mummy. George! Shh! <laughs> Shh! <laughs> Pepper and George are following the footprints. Look! The footprints were made by a little bird. She's flown into a tree. Here, Peppa, look through the binoculars. The binoculars make everything look bigger. I can see one, two, three baby birds. Ah, oh, I wonder what they're eating. Yeah, they're eating worms. That's disgusting. <laughs> George has found more footprints. Ooh, what little footprints? The footprints are being made by ants. They're collecting leaves to eat. Are they going to have salad for lunch? Yes. <laughs> I love our car. Ho, ho. And our car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> Stop! It is Mr Bull and his friends. Digger, digger. <laughs> George likes diggers. Hello, Mr Bull. What's up? We're digging up the road. Will it take long? It will take as long as it takes. <laughs> Lads, let's smash up this old pipe. Mr Bull is good at smashing things. Wow! Tea break! 
Oh dear, now we'll have to wait even longer. Why don't you join us, Mummy Pig? Plenty of tea to go around. That sounds lovely. Thank you, Mr Bull. <laughs> That's a nice teapot, Mr Bull. Yes, Peppa. It's made of delicate china. Mr Bull likes delicate china. You have to be very, very careful with china. Why? Because china can break very easily. <coughs> That's why I always... <gasps> oh, dear. Mr Bull has smashed the teapot to pieces. Oh, no! I put it down too hard. I don't know my own strength. Maybe we can fix it, boss. Oh, I've got cement. I've got a rivet gun. It's not gonna work, lads. I know. Miss Rabbit has a china shop. She could mend it. Good idea, Mummy Pig. We'll go right now. Can I come too? We'll all go. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Bull is going to the china shop. No, George. You can't play with the car keys. You might lose them. <laughs> You're playing with the car keys, Daddy. But I'm a grown-up. I'm not going to lose them. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has dropped the car keys down a drain. Oh. oh. Right. Let's go home. Um, that might be difficult. Why? Daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, Daddy Pig! Don't worry. I'll get the keys out of the drain with a stick. Hooray! Hmm. The drain must be deeper than I thought. The stick is not long enough to reach the keys. What we need is a fishing rod. Then we can catch the keys on a hook. Maybe Miss Rabbit sells fishing rods. Uh, do you sell fishing rods? We do, actually. I don't know why. You don't get fish in the mountains. We're not fishing for fish, we're fishing for keys. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. 